not filming my face because I look a mess, but I wanted to show you guys. Remember last week I had this? That was my first work-related um, <laughs> injury. Then I got this one, which is practically healed up and it wasn't very deep anyway. Cut myself. I do a lot of uh, cutting things out at work, so it was bound to happen. So luckily that wasn't a very deep one, but then this one happened <laughs> and that one was a little more dramatic because I sliced through my nail I had to cut something really fast so I was like okay I'm gonna change the the, the blade and just do it and then I obviously hello <laughs> hello and then I have literally just first cut out I do I slice right through my finger and uh, there was actually a bunch of people around me who saw it happen and were like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Then started like pissing blood. But I, was, I had to finish the cutouts so fast and I didn't want to bleed all over it. So I just uh, taped my finger with some tape, actual tape, and continued cutting. And then after I'd done that, rushed to the bathroom, washed the, the wound. And when I came back, somebody left some... Um, plasters or like band-aids on my desk and it was really really sweet okay hey I'm back I look human now I'm ready to go out for a little for a little drink yeah if my my hair does look a little pink I tried one of those you know L'Oreal um, what are they called like well they're L'Oreal like fashion color things but I guess my hair wasn't blonde enough so it just looks a little weird i guess <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go okay somebody wants to say hi hello hello baby this is what happens when you try to give your cat deworming medicine so, for those who actually know me personally, remember me saying that I wouldn't ever go back to being blonde and then the incident at the other hair salon happened where I had this strange brownish reddish color happen and I really didn't like it at first and then I thought, you know what, let's go all the way. So, what do you guys think? I, I didn't I really didn't think I was gonna go blonde uh, when she was drying it I saw a lot of brassiness but it does seem that it I, I can actually kind of see it here like right there a bit of brassiness but not as much as with the first hairdresser I went I actually saved up with this hairdresser because I know I knew it was gonna be a budget I went to a really fancy schmancy hairdresser and i really did feel out of place there by the way i felt like i just stumbled in from the streets i felt like an actual street rat and there were all like these posh ladies getting their hair like straightened and their roots touched up and i was just like here with my tattoos and i had like my two bright blue band-aids on my hand and my h&m clothes and i was like hey <laughs> I want to go blonde, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I think it does, for once, this blonde is not too bad uh, for my complexion. It actually looks quite good. So now I need to get used to the color. What do you guys think? I'm going to go see my brother now, actually. And I he knows I went to the hairdresser, but I didn't tell him what I was getting because I was really sure. So... I'm actually kind of excited to see his reaction. Okay, I'm actually cooking some food because it's like 5 p.m. I, I went to the hairdressers at like 1.30 uh, p.m. I only had like an avocado uh, for my lunch because I thought it was going to be shorter than that, but now it's 5 p.m. so I need to eat something and go see my brother. Monday morning My hair is a mess, but who cares because I'm I'm off to the gym right now Off to the gym Don't mind the hair. I've got a hair mask on and I just came back from the gym So just out of the shower, but 
came back just in time for the postman to ring my doorbell and bring me my package that sounds really dirty but yeah i ordered some stuff on amazon and we're gonna check it out right now so here we go okay so here is my package and i'm really excited because i usually never have the time to order anything off the internet maybe it is my cat is waiting for the box okay let's see if this, this is what i ordered yes this is my new tripod i actually got one for my birthday from my brother which is amazing it's bigger than this one so i'm gonna be able to bring this one with me when i'm vlogging and when i'm doing home stuff i'm gonna be able to use the one i'm actually using now so i got the manfrotto pixie i think it's called yeah pixie mini tripod because if you've been watching for a while this is kind of shit it just keeps breaking and breaking even more and yesterday my cousin oh there, there you go see it just breaks so easily so this one was recommended to me and i think a lot of vloggers use it so manfrotto is always an amazing brand anyway so yes cannot wait to use this i bought myself this book because I am traveling to Japan quite soon and I'd like to be able to read a few essential kanjis especially the one when it comes to reading the ones to find the bathroom and the girl and the boy and the temples and yeah and then oh man this is damaged oh well um, I hopefully I've given this to my mother by the time you see this vlog otherwise I'm just gonna have to edit it out Here's my Manfrotto! Yes! What do you think, guys? Pretty pro looking, eh? Yes, sir! And here is my new toy collection! <laughs> yeah. So this is my broken gorilla pod, which didn't make it very far. Broke very, very quickly after buying it! My brand new Manfrotto gonna be my vlogging buddy and then my medium-sized oh is see I don't know that brand but I got this for my brother for my birthday so this is gonna be my heavy-duty one for home vlog and I don't know if I'll ever use this again but who knows it's good to have a spare feeling like a pro right now